Yes, I would like to cut the tree. Always used cut. And always cut the tree down. Um. Uh. Yeah, I should go heal real quick. Uh. Because I forgot to do that between episodes. And, um. Uh, that was a good way to start it, wasn't it? Just cutting a tree to uh, cutting a tree, and then uh, going back to heal. That's always fun. So um, now we're finally ready to head out east from this place. Uh, we can go this way actually. Cut this tree and. Um, Ah, uh, we just have to cut this tree again. So, uh, let's repeat, shall we? Yes, I would like to cut the tree. Always used cut. Always cut the tree. Wasn't that a nice repeat? Uh, here's a battle. Um, let me see. I'm gonna lead off with... S with Yumta. So Yumta is under level. As under level can be right now, uh, and uh, she's always been like that. And uh, let's get some experience. So, gentleman Esteban would like to battle, and gentleman Esteban has an Oddish and Yumta. So this is not good. I'm gonna switch out into Yar, cause Yar can handle Oddishes. Like, it's no problem. I could have gone into uh, Springer as well, but uh, it's no big deal. So, now it's just time to ember everything. And just like that, Oddish is gone. Gone from my life. So, now it's a Bell Sprout. Um, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to Yumta and then I'm gonna go into Yar after that. Uh, no, wait, I'm actually gonna go into Springer. And uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I shouldn't be recording this right now, but I am. Um, I'm in like the middle of moving and all that, and it uh, takes it out of me a little bit. So, Psybeam. Is gonna do the job. So Springer also gets a kill. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in on these Oddish. I don't want to keep switching back and forth. I know the Springer can take care of this thing with relative ease, since pretty much everything is uh, grass poison when it's when it is grass. So yeah. <laughs> so sleep powder is gonna be annoying. I don't think it can hit me, hit me with much because it's a tiny little fucking oddish. What's it supposed to do? It's supposed to fucking give me perfume and uh, stuff like that when I'm sleeping. Side beam. That's oddish. That. My good friend oddish is how you attack somebody. You don't give them perfume, you give them beams of psychic power. So, another Barrel Sprout, and uh, um, given this gentleman uh, Esteban real creativity points on the team, it really threw me off guard. And uh, trying to learn Psych Up. Um, Psych Up is the one that uh, copies the stat changes by the foe. I might as well get rid of Splash. <laughs> Because <laughs> splash, and uh, who knows? Maybe it at some point, like, like, come up against like a boosting uh, Pokemon or something like that. Maybe against a double teamer. <laughs> and uh, I deceived her or him. I don't know. I mean, it's gentleman, but it looks like a little girl to me. Um, she gives me money, and this is one of those places again. I'm gonna aerial ace, which is nice. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to sneak past this guy because I want to catch a new Pokemon before taking too many battles. And I know there is grass around here. Is there any grass down here? Doesn't seem that way. But I know there's something up here. Do I have Pokeballs for this? I should be ready. And as long as this guy doesn't see me, I just have to battle this guy and it's hunting time. I got up early every day to raise my Pokemon from cocoons. You, sir, have a really sad life. At least he gets beautiful for it. Um, I'm gonna try to stay in on this thing. And uh, I'm gonna sing a little lullaby. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, lullabies can miss. Fury attack. As long as it doesn't hit too many times, it should be good. Now he hears my lullaby. And because uh, he's not a deaf little motherfucker. And uh, I'm just gonna try to start hitting him with, with some pulsating water. And uh, that's gonna do nothing at all. I'm gonna switch. Yumta just can't hold its own. So I'm gonna go into Spyro on this thing. I'm guessing Spyro can handle it. And uh, just gonna hit it with a water gun. It's probably gonna do like three times as much as uh, water pulls from Yumta. Uh, maybe not quite three times as much, but uh, enough. I'm happy with it. Yoro's gonna wake up from his little nap, and uh, ouch, how this fury attack hurts. Hit three times, and uh, did three HP as well. So I'm thinking another water gun looks to be enough. But uh, until then, I'm stuck taking uh, these ticklish fury attacks. Like, taps a little bit on Spyro's shell. And uh, I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> so, Beedrill keeps tickling Spyro, critically tickling him, and uh, critically tickling him again. And uh, good thing Spyro's not very ticklish. So, hit five times, three times critical hit. Well then. And uh, that be it rules down. So I'm guessing the next thing should be a Butterfree, since it's all like, Nile Cocoon! And all that shit. So, um, here's another beat rule actually. I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing. And this guy's gonna keep fury attacking, so sit back and enjoy the tickle show. Not doing much. And, um. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do four of these water guns, sort of five probably. Let's see. Uh, might be a four hit KO. That's really sad when you say that it might be a four hit KO then um, it doesn't sound really good, but luckily, like, the Fury attacks is like a 25 hit KO on uh, Spyro, so I'm good. Just takes a long time. And that is the end of Beedrill. And the start of a new level for Spyro. And the whole waste of time and all that jazz. Yeah, I know. I mean, you decided to waste waste your time with me. And uh, now we're in some grass. And uh, let's see what we have in front. I don't remember. We have Yumta. Yumta can probably sing something to sleep in here. That seems to be an option. And we have a Sceptile. That's pretty cool. So, um, got our second grass daughter. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to sing this thing to sleep. Quick Attack does a lot, but now it's asleep, 
and I am gonna switch to I don't know something that can uh, deal with the septile. I'm thinking that something is gonna be good old Yar, and uh, by that I mean bite, not Ember, because uh, I don't want to kill this thing. Although you can probably take an Ember, I'm not gonna play around with it, and I'm gonna bite. Hmm. Does a decent amount, so you could have taken an ember as well. One more bite, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it now, I guess. Uh, try Pokeball first. If it catches it, sweet. If not, then fuck it. One, nope. So now he wakes up, and because of that, I'm gonna switch into always because since this is not 6 gen I can put it back to sleep with sleep powder so I mean grass types are now immune to sleep powder but um not in this game and uh, right now I'm pretty happy about that so sleep powder gonna hit and uh, we have a sleeping septile and now I'm thinking I'll just chuck some great balls at it probably the best option or maybe not so uh, I'm guessing we won't be able to catch this septile now looking at it keep pokeballing it I could maybe weaken it a little bit with uh, always here but that Pokeball does it, and Sceptile was caught. Mm, now, I'm gonna need a nickname for this thing, and uh, I'm actually gonna... I'm too tired to nickname anything right now, so... Uh, I'm probably just gonna take a nap or something, and uh, then nickname it at the start of the next episode, because uh, that's the power of... Nothing. It's not the power of anything. I'm just gonna think about it. So, good night and goodbye, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>